Hi guys, welcome to our Force in Motion web quest. So today you are going to start off by creating a Word document that's going to hold a KWL chart and that's how we're going to kick off this unit. Um, this Word document is really important because we're going to use this for everything um, in this unit and this is how I'm going to access what you've done and um, the progress that you've made. So make sure you pay special attention and create this KWL chart and your Word document appropriately. We already know how to create Word documents, but I'm gonna walk you through it again. All right, and since I can't create a Word document on my MacBook for you to see, I'm actually going to turn you around and face you to my computer. I'm gonna face my desktop to you. All right, computer, me, computer. It's kind of funny, right? All right, there we go, now I can see everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a Word document. So, if you can't see my little mouse floating around, I'm gonna start pointing to where my mouse is. I'm gonna open my Start button down here at the corner. Make sure that, you, yeah, you see my finger over here. Open my Start button. And then up at the top, you should see Word 2013 because you've opened it before. You can click there to open a new Word document, or if you don't see that, you can go to All Programs, scroll down. To Microsoft Office 2013, open it to Word 2013, open it, double click on blank document, and here we go to begin. Now, I need for you to create uh, um, a chart like we did last time. So you're going to get an insert table, and we need it to be one, two, three by two, and then you click, and then we're going to click the little corner over here, you see when I hover over that corner box, it turns into two arrows, a stretchy arrow. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to stretch my chart out. Once my chart's stretched, I need to resize my boxes. So if I take my cursor and I hover over the middle line, you'll see the arrows turn into stretch arrows again. I'm going to click, and then I'm going to drag up to make the top boxes small and the bottom boxes bigger. I'm going to resize just a little bit more, and then I'm going to click into my box. If I double click in here, it'll take it to the center of this box. That's just an automatic formatting thing. And I'm going to type K, and then we hit enter and say what I know. Then I'm going to double click into the center again on this box. W. Ooh, I don't like where that is. Let me do this again. Let me double click right here. That's better. W. And then we hit enter. What I want. To know. And then I'm scoot over and double click again. L, enter what I've learned. Alrighty. Then I can come under the what I know box and I can double click and I can go ahead and start putting in what I know. What do I know? What do I know already about force and motion? So I'm going to enter in all of those things that I already know, see, I'm not actually entering real, real words, I'm just typing because I don't want you to take what I know and use it for what you know. I want to know what you know. So type in what you already know about force and motion, everything you can think of. You can do it that way, or watch this, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to delete it. If I hit the shift key, hold it down, hold down the shift key and I go hit the number eight really quick, boom, it makes that little star and then I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to write something that I know. I know this. And then if I hit enter, I know that. Enter. Do you see how it's doing bulleted points? You could do bulleted points about what you know as opposed to typing words and sentences about what you know. So you could do little dots that kind of organize that information easily for you. Okay, so that step's done. Now let's move on to how to save this. You already know how to save, but let's just make sure if you come up to file at the very top, the blue file button, and you click, and then come down to save as and you click double click on computer click click and then I can come down here and in my documents library I will save this as force and motion and then I'm gonna put my name Whitney Whitfield and that's what I want you to do too Force and motion, don't type Whitney Whitfield, force and motion, your first and last name. And that's what you're going to type in here. And then you're going to click save and it's going to save it for you. And then when it comes back to the screen, you know you're done. Okay. And that is creating that very first document that you need to start this unit. You may continue on. Watch the next video.